All right, so this is gonna be my review, at least for what I've been trying to use this GoPro 2 for. So I've been trying to use this primarily with the hat clip, pretty much for POV shots while I'm driving. As you can see, I have a trucking channel. And I'm coming to not like this camera, unfortunately. Uh, I, I really wanted to. I wanted to because it was small, the size of your, your thumb. And uh, it was very easily to conceal. Like if I go into a store or something, or I want to vlog and, and keep the camera on me, I could just stick it there. Nobody really noticed, uh, that, you know, even, even before, um, you know, I got a skin put on it. No, nobody notices it. Uh, I literally had it up on my brim and was talking to a security guard uh, at a warehouse I was uh, trying to deliver to. He didn't even bat an eye, did not say a word. So that that's primarily what I bought this camera for. That and maybe to use for quick shots. Um, like I have a, the one the the one accessory is mounted to the windshield right now. You know, it's quick, it's easy. I like how I can just pull it out and put it in and and pull the uh, the mount down and and you know record outside the window. The, the big problem I have is this little device. All right, it over at least mine mine overheats extremely fast and this ain't with the heat on this is with maybe like a 70 degree 68 degree cabin temperature or whatnot um you know especially if it's on pro steady uh it it just it, it overheats way too fast i might get five to eight minutes of recording time out of it um and if i, I just have it on uh, 1080p uh like sitting on the dash looking at me i might get 12 15 minutes tops if I'm lucky and usually the battery gives out around 20 minutes so you know I, I would like it if, it if it could at least record a full 30 minutes no matter what any anything the the pro steady it, it would be a great camera but it's 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 not it's not really an action camera it's a novelty camera it's for very quick maybe really super quick POV shots stuff that you have set up that you know what you're doing like maybe you know, you're jumping a, a dirt bike over a dirt mound or something, and you know that's where the dirt bike's coming. You already have it set up, and they're coming. This is not for to get spur of the moment, I would say, uh, events, you know, in your video. Because you would have to, you have to take it out. If you press this button, you have to hope it's recording, all right? Uh, one press or two press or whatever, however you set it up in the app. So then you got to hope it's recording. Then what I found is sometimes it'll record, it'll say it's recording, because uh, I'll even, ha I gotta turn the light back on to make sure I know it's recording. And you'll go in the app and it's not there. You, it, the, the video is not saved onto the device. So now any, any moment you record it in time, unless you can reset it up, like I said, most of the stuff I have is real life, in the moment, uh, videography. So, it, you know, once it happens once, it's, it's done. Uh, you're not gonna get it again. And I'm not gonna like pull the truck out and go set everything up again. It's, it's just a hassle. So, yeah, I just can't rely on it, uh, you know, for, for that real life in the moment, you know, shot. And it, it, it's, it's hurt, you know, it's, it sucks because I really wanted to like this little camera, all right? Like I said, it, nobody notices it. It's very discreet. I can put it on, I can walk through, a truck stop review the truck stop do things um, get services nobody notices at all you know even if it's sitting right here right here on my hat they just don't they don't say nothing now I've used my cell phone before and vlogged and you know sat there like this and tried to do stuff and yeah people are like what what the hell you're doing you know get the camera out of my face uh, what do you you know what are you doing uh, you, you know this nobody cares nobody bats an eye at least so far but the problem is, like I said, it overheats too quick. You can't get the spur of the moment shots uh, unless somehow you're prepared for it or it just happens like in front of you. This is for real quick, just have it in your pocket. And if you see like, I don't know, maybe if you're walking down the street and you come up upon a coffee shop or a shop or something you want to review real quick, you could pull it out, snap it on your hat or, or uh, you know, put, uh, what is it? The magnet, put the magnet clip on and walk in. And real quick, just do a real quick vlog or, or review 
uh, depending on how hot it is, I, I'm guessing if it's summertime, it's going to overheat real quick. But and, and that's what it is. It's 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 something for a real quick. I would say it's more of a vlogging camera. Real quick, maybe take a real quick vlog, blah 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 blah, and and close it up and get done with it. That and this will only charge maybe two or three times. So if you run the battery all the way out in this, you only have about two or three charges on this. Um, so. I don't know. I like I said. I'm not trying to bash Insta360. I, I like their products. I have an X. Uh, was it the 360 X3? I ordered. You know that I'm sure I'm going to be able to use. There's no no reviews on anything about it overheating or any problems. Um, but but to be honest, this, this is not a competitor to a GoPro. Now, that being said, GoPro has a lot of problems too. But it, it, to be honest, I think I bought the competitor to GoPro, the real competitor, and it's probably DJI, the Osmo Action 3. So that being said, buy this if you have a particular need for it or you want to need to take the particular shots, like if you're going to stick the camera in your mouth or you're going to drop it in the glass and stuff like that. If you're, if you're you know, want a, a, a cheaper camera, then, you know, there's some high-end action cameras that are rather small that you could buy that don't overheat but you're talking like a thousand dollars plus so you have to be a professional videographer to, to get into that but you know for the bang for the buck this is great but like i said you got to know what you're using it for maybe i have a dud one maybe mine overheats way too fast the only way i can get it not to overheat like extremely fast is like when i have it on the dashboard i turn the defroster on i turn the defroster all the way on the uh, air conditioner cold and I have cold air pretty much blowing up the window at it. And it'll record for like 15, 20 minutes till the battery dies. But that's that's the only way. Uh, on a bike, on a, a decent summer day, yeah, you could probably keep this from overheating. Uh, maybe if you're jogging or moving, uh, you could. If it's like a real hot day, I would imagine 90 degrees, 100 degrees, uh, you're in the desert or something, I'd imagine this is gonna still overheat. And I don't know. Like I said, I want to love this camera, but it's just not going to take the shots that I want it to. Like uh, another thing, if you hook it up to the phone, you would think it would still record. All right. The, if you walked away from the phone. So I simply went maybe 10 feet away from the phone here uh, and came back after I pulled the clan heads off this trail, which I know you probably some people watch this have no idea what I'm talking about. But uh, you know, I'm literally 10 feet away and I come back and it disconnected and guess what when it disconnected it stopped recording Why would it not just continuously record on the device? You know, I come back into the truck And it just pops it up on the screen reconnects and still keeps the recording on the device Why wouldn't it not do that? No, it'll it'll drop the recording So if you walk away from this, you know If you have your phone on a tripod and you walk too far and it disconnects it's gonna stop recording um, at least mine does. Maybe there's an option that I haven't seen that, that allowed to keep doing that. Uh, I don't know. But so far, I've had it happen two or three times. And it's just getting very irritating because then I have to pop the phone off, stick it in my pocket, hope it doesn't hit the buttons, and, you know, walk to the back of the trail with the phone. And then, like I said, hope hope it doesn't hit the button. And it, there's just so much i got to worry about. And I don't, I don't want to do that. So... Uh, Insta 360. If you're watching and you get you you redo this, you make the uh, Insta Go 2. Uh, uh, you know the you upgrade it to the Go 3 or I don't know whatever you're gonna decide to call it because I I've heard rumors. You know I I will gladly buy it if it's priced decently and it at least offers more than eight to fifteen minutes of of video capture time. If you can get something at least around this size. Even the size of the DJI uh, Action 2, or whatever it is, the Osmo Action 2 or whatever. If you can even get it around to that size, I would gladly buy it. As long as it can record more than 30 minutes, 40 minutes probably be the best. If you can get up to an hour, hey, that's that would that would be fabulous. You know, you can you can put it on, you can vlog, you can catch those instant in-time events. People wouldn't notice the camera that much. Uh, so they would just act normal. You wouldn't have people looking at you or, or questioning or anything. And, you know, that's that's all I have to say for this review. Uh, you know, if you're partial to, to the Insta360 uh, go-to, that's fine. You know, like I said, it has its, it does have its place. But for what I need it for, 
and for what I got to rely on it for that instantaneous footage I, I just can't now that being said if you look at most of these reviews Insta360 uh, Insta does a really good job marketing their product uh, you know that being said I'm not gonna you know I'm not gonna say they buy anybody off but you know they they do a good job at marketing their product they give a lot of incentives to to want to keep reviewing the product so if you give a bad review you're probably not going to get these trips and, and stuff that they offer and you know I have no problem that's that's great marketing I just wish they would be a little more truthful about the battery life and stuff uh, me like I said maybe I have a dud one all right I'll t take that with a grain of salt if you want you get you get the warranty or you buy it off Amazon and if it doesn't perform the way you want just send it back because that's what I'm gonna do I bought it off Amazon and I'm gonna send it back um, but that being said that's my review of the Instago 2 and you know take it with a grain of salt I'm not I'm not a per se a professional videographer or whatnot but like I said what I need it for is that instantaneous you know spur of the moment footage and I just can't rely on it or have it be able to film long enough that I might miss something. So, that being said, thank you. Uh, this is Jackknife TV. I'm out.